Hello, um, welcome uh, to uh, installing Windows and uh, Windows installing and configuring series. So uh, we are in chapter three, you see, or lesson three. Okay, configuring devices and device deliveries. So device deliveries, you know, I'm not reading this book because we're just thinking like, we're just taking like the quick examples that we can do it um, like without reading all the book you know what I mean so because the book is like if you read it it's like 479 but I'm just highlighting or showing you the the thing is that I'm thinking is main to show you so you can read on yourself by yourself but, but uh, this is what it is so um, if I show you now uh, managing the fast driver so if I go here this is the windows that we turned it on before I mean we restarted before so now I'm gonna this is the windows that I restarted so one thing we're gonna make sure that all the you know all the all the features that we turn it on are turned on and then we're gonna proceed the device managers and stuff like that you know the the, the, the lab showing us yeah, like this device, you know, like how to go to the uh, device manager and stuff like that. Okay, so let me go here. Let me go. Programs and features. Programs and features. Okay. I'll just write like programs and features and then it should come out in here. I have some programs and features. Programs and features. You know, you can search in that way if you want. You know, in Windows 10, you search in this way and you find everything. So if you I go here I'm gonna check if the hyper fee is on is the hyper fee on yeah it is on you see now is the hyper fee now is on but the hyper fee that this one is not gonna be on and the reason is that because on my machine the laptop that I'm using right now I turn it off the hyper fee and the reason is that because uh, it did not work with my virtual uh, with my a, a VMware workstation so I had to turn it off and at the same time even though I have a, I'm using a giga 16 gigabyte memory laptop an i7 laptop 2.4 gigahertz power speed it is not really I mean if I install like two servers and I installed I installed four servers and two Windows Enterprise no four Windows Enterprise in the hyper fee and then it did not even work work so that means it's like it is heavy in the memory you know uh, hyper fee it's really heavy on the memory uh, and also the windows 10 uh, enterprise so i just disable it but or uh, apart from that it's all turned on like tftp is turned on and uh, ftp is turned on okay tftp is turned on you see and ftp is turned on where is the FTP? Yeah, Internet Information Services. They all turn it on, you see? FTP is ticked, so they, they all turn it on. Okay, that is that's done. So now let us go to what the lab says. The lab says now, in addition to providing, well, uh, yeah, it's just talking, but let us go into this journal type of the printer. I don't have a printer here with me, but um, in here on the top, it says it says um, to process the installing hardware primarily unidentified of installing a device driver. This process can occur during the operating system. Basically, it's, it's talking about how we go to the device manager. So one thing we can do is that. we go 
we go here we have two ways to go either we write the first manager right here and then we click on here and then we play when we click here then we play because we have all the software is installed like this like this base system thing I don't PS0 same function I don't I, I have to check that later on but let me do the update I cannot do the update as well because I'm not connected to the internet so if you go to the device driver for example it's just saying here journal it shows you the driver name if you go to journal it shows you the driver name but in this case this driver is not now so let me go and go to a, a network adapter for example the driver that is missing now okay property yeah right click property not right click property but let me go um double click let me go uh, it says like yeah we are on for example like this hyperfi now adapter is a journal so when you say uh, journal when you are here it will show you what uh, the virtual adapter is i mean if it is a hyper fee virtual ethernet adapter if it is a keyboard for example if it is a keyboard when i click double click the keyboard it will just show you the the keyboard when you see that it show you standard keyboard so it show you the name that's what it means in here and if you go the second tab here if you go to device setting then it will show you what it is device setting um, if you go to journal sharing ports journal sharing ports this this, this guy doesn't have it uh, this one and this one does not have it as well because um, I'm just looking for anyone who has it You know this a lot of, because this one is a is oh let me check if I have a H, if I have a HP I have not configured it here so but the basic thing is that when you go to the property of it will show you like with the security because this one it is showing us like a real um, printer so the real printer has all this uh, functionality here but these guys they don't have that functionality there for example if you go to disk driver and then go this one this one as well it will only show you like what it is you know if the driver if the driver is working perfectly the name of the driver and stuff like that you know the policies you get me that's what it is so i don't have a driver so i cannot show you exactly the the picture and like, like this okay using the device printer if you go here using device and printers folder you go here i'll show you how to get there you go let me delete that from the previous class if i go here and say like device device and print voice uh, sorry printers and devices is that what it is printers and devices what is it then oh devices and printers okay devices and printers devices devices and printer you can go this one through through the through the you know through the you can go the, the, with this devices and printers let me see here 
or you can go through the bar. That's it. That's the easy way is to go through the um, control panel. Now I have to go to two stops, you know. The first is amper interest. Let me see this if I can see. I don't see anything. Okay, let me go to the first a control panel and then uh, device some printers. Device and printer is easy right here because we took our time. So this guy says if you go to device some printers uh, to open the device and printers, go to control panel. Says that I go to control panel, we have already been there, and then and then and then the most USB, yeah, it's just explaining what is so. The guy is showing us this printer right here. So I didn't have a printer because I don't have a printer here, you know. Uh, I don't have a printer right here, so I'm gonna delete this guy. I don't know, I don't have a printer installed. For that reason, these are not printers, yeah? It's a PDF, printed to PDF and stuff like that. But they don't have, I don't have a printing. Because if I go here to a printer sharing, if I go to share, if I go to advanced, like before, can I do that? Let me check on this book. You know, it has all these device settings. So I, I don't think I have a device setting here. I don't have a device device setting. I only have this because it is not a proper uh, printing. It's not a proper, yeah, as I said, it's not a proper printer because I don't have a printer. This one is by default in there. Okay. That is, that's why I could not show you because the printer howlet printer that's what he had and for me again i don't have any printers physical printers installed in this <laughs> okay okay and uh, interpreting data from the device manager i.e like we are in the device manager it says like uh, Okay, we are, you know, that's, that's how you could go the this device manager, this thing, I mean, uh, the device and printers. Now it says us to device manager. <laughs> so I've got my desk here. It says, okay, and then you see all these printers, all, all these uh, adapters are installed in here okay okay general display you know it just it's just explaining what each one is for example if you go to if you go to computer for example it just explains to you what the journal does what the driver does what the details does you see what um, event and stuff like that so look it just says you the resources device by connection all those type of stuff so we're not going to waste the time here okay because it is a book so it worked it out all this type so if you want to update a driver for example for example like this one now if i want to update i just right click now it says um, you know if you want to update a driver you just go to right click and then you say update the driver and then this window comes up you see the windows that he showed with us in here it's like search automatically or browse with the computer so either i can search automatically or press if i go to uh, search automatic it will look for from the internet if i go browse to my computer it will just check like i have to browse to where i put it if it is in the pc if the reference is in the pc if they are in a desktop or whatever, OneDrive or anything, you know, anywhere that I put it or through the network or anything, okay? That's what it is. 
But if I say get it automatically, update the driver, get it automatically, then it checks automatically on the Windows and I'm not connected to the internet and then it will show you just like that which shows us it's unable to get it okay and we are here browse easy browse is like price to my computer you know it's just explaining a lot but I cover it in a second roll back the driver for example if I go back here I go back I just closed here and go at device manager It's easy to get if I go back this guy and he say and I say property if I go to driver I have an option here uh, let me see the details event or resources if I go to driver yeah you see that that feature is created out for me if the device fails after the driver uh, roll back to the previous installed driver. So what it what it does, it just uh, installs the driver back to where it was before. You know the driver that it had before. For example, if you have a driver and you updated that driver, and you say you go here, you say I want to update this driver, and then you see that the stuff that the your device connected to this computer doesn't work the way it should. What you can do, you could go, you could highlight go to property go to a driver and then here for some reason it's gray out for me so you say like roll back because this thing this the, nothing is is uh, is connected to this one but if i go to adapter i think i should find the adapter if i go to adapter and i go to a property of this adapter you now that's a whole adapter it's hyper fee adapter for example we go here i think i can get it now the driver, yeah, the rollback is still is not working for me. But you know, it, it will, it, it will, uh, you know, it always goes back to the previous uh, version. There you see, you go to expand. Now it is telling us to go to start under the device manager. So we already in the device manager. It says, it says to us um, expand the network adapter. So let me go and expand I'm already expanded the network adapters when it's not expanded it's like this when you expand it's like that so expand another adapter and then browse okay where is it and then right click the adapter right click the adapter and choose update the driver and browse to my computer uh, let me pick from a list of drivers on my computer this select a compatible okay so now let me go to um to a driver anyone for example which one did he tell us ask us uh, right click on the right click the adapter any adapter in this case okay so if i get to this one and then if the right click if i say update and then if i say browse that's what it says and it's says a browse to my computer then click let me pick from the list of the device of drivers on my computer uh, okay yeah it's this guy okay let me pick and then if you say if you deselected the compatible hardware let me change this one because i don't want to play with that one this oh i would use this one a hyper fee one and i will not even hyper one yeah let me use just the hyper fee one update that driver uh, click and let me pick and this selected this is a unselect that one you say unselected that one then select the marvel for a manufacturer for the microsoft another adapter multi -blexa. So what do you say? Select Marvel. So what is Marvel? Mofista. Ma Select I mean no Marvel is a yeah Marvel, and then select Microsoft. 
network adapter multiplexer so let's say you know here we choose marvel here is here we go to microsoft to microsoft network adapter multiplexer when Max of the network adapter from the manufacturer. We are in a manufacturer here. It says selecting Marvel from the manufacturer. Selecting Marvel. Here's the manufacturer. So that's a Marvel. And here we say Marvel Microsoft. So I don't have the option that is showing here. It says a uh, Microsoft Network Adapter Multiplexer. I don't have in here. It's all Marvel Yukon. Okay, boom. Um, there's no multiplexer. I don't have the. Uh, the option right here but you get the next I mean you get the idea okay so so when you finish then it shows you all these 